everybody, welcome back to the channel and a continuing episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Long Delays in Recording. Long Delays in Recording are sometimes inevitable. Alright, welcome back everybody. It's probably been close to a month since I last recorded. Uh, I had a brutal throat cold a month ago and it lasted for about four or five days where it was pretty bad. Um, it wasn't COVID, it's a throat cold that I've been getting ever since I was a kid every year but this one was particularly bad anyway I ended up with a cough for a good I still have it slightly it was like a good 20 days afterwards that like I would start talking and then I just start coughing and everything so it was really difficult for me to like try and record without like coughing continuously I'm at a point now where I think I'm probably okay there might be a few edits in this video where I've coughed and I had to cut stuff out but uh, yeah I'm kind of back and it was nice to be able to kind of take a break too but I'm back recording again. Uh, hopefully it's going to be an episode every day for the next little while. I know we're enter entering into the holiday season, so that may or may not happen. We'll see how it goes. But today we're just going to jump straight into a battle. Uh, I kind of already picked out what we're going to do. We got, uh, I think, most of our mechs back. We don't have the Treb back. I was gonna, hoping to, to pull off a mission with uh, Jenkins Lance today, but we're going to go with the Heavy Lance because they're ready to go. We do have the Savage Wolf still set up under Goss build. We've got one avatar built up with a heavy laser build. We've got a second avatar with dual MRM-30 build. So I'm interested to see how that plays out again. Banner Snatch is back now with both uh, AC light AC-20s. So we're going to roll with that guy again today. I haven't really changed. I don't think I changed the loadouts on these guys. You guys may notice a difference. I, I don't know. I, I There might be. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to go and... Right to the command center. We're going to take a mission Probably against Steiner today. There's a four and a half skull mission here. Um, and it's like, you know, uh, mechs and old colors kind of thing. It'll probably be, end up being at least two lances of enemy, enemy mechs. Probably heavy to assault. Variety of mechs. So I think that's a good uh, way to test out this heavy lance. We should do okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go... I'm going to go 312. The extra three salvage isn't a big deal but the co the coin definitely will help out so let's just take that since our friggin payment every month is like over two million sea bills all right um so i don't think oh here we go so this lance is loaded did we play these guys last time maybe we did did we or did i just set this up I may have set it up and then I don't know. Well, let's just go with these guys. Command interface initiated. Well, we got our targets apparently right out in the open, which we know they're not. Um, okay, so this map. Uh, watch out for werewolves. They'll consume your blood, will they? Thanks, Darius. Thanks for always being helpful. Okay, so there's two choices. We'll find out here which one we can take. All right, so... All right. They are most likely going to get reinforcements from back there. Or it may just very well be one lance. Like, normally you'd start here, right? This is the normal start point. And then reinforcements would either come from there or back here. I can drop here, though, but... Just barely. That's why I think they're going to get reinforcements from back here. But this puts me in the open, and I'm <clears throat> my lance is not set up for a long-range fight. Although I could. I think I'm going to drop in here. Be behind the hill. We'll crest the hill when we're ready. Everybody crests together. Uh... They're not defending a base, so there shouldn't be any turrets. You know, uh, this puts me in the open in case they can see me at the start. Well, I should have a bit of protection, I think. Shouldn't I from the start? Maybe. Let's go here. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? Besides getting enemy contact right, at the, right off the top where like, at least two of them can see me. Islander. All right. Probably got a Goss. Nope. Light AC-20, it looks like. Damage minimal. 733C, eh? That's probably a light 20. 
Is there's a pair of them? Oh, that's interesting. Ymir, eh? That's a medium, probably. Probably. What's up, boss? Uh, what do you say we give this guy some MRMs? He's asking for them. Hmm. Yes, Commander. I gotta start to remember the controls again. I actually have not played Battletech. Probably for mm, at least three weeks now. I continued to play a little bit when I was sick. I was I, I started up a well, I had a lamb company already. Cause I still intend to do the lamb playthrough. It's still gonna happen. I started I had an offline one that I was playing because I wanted just to see how viable it would be for a series. It's pretty viable. I think it'll be alright. There's a couple things we need to do to make it work, but uh let's Leave the MRMs down here. What do we got? Apollo, incendiary, and acid. How much acid do we got? 240. Well, this guy's got an LRM 20 as well, eh? It's a regular AC 20. So why did I only take 80 damage? And that was a flyer that got hit too. He should have taken the full 100. Well, I don't know. Let's just hammer this guy. We'll acid him up a bit so everyone else can uh, capitalize on it. That's going to cause him a lot of problems. Injury resisted, so he did, he did take a head plank. Nice. Yeah, I think, I think that one was a miss. Yeah. Should have been. Ready to rock. Alright, Nasty. Let's get nasty on him. Uh, yeah, so what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so I, I did play for a bit. Because um, no I wanted to, to test out, like I said, with how the lambs would work. It's actually pretty good. I, I, I haven't lost one yet. Um, there's been a few instances where I pre came pretty damn close. Um, yeah, let's just hang on to the bombs. Let's strip the armor off the side of this guy. He's a regular Highlander. I don't... I, that should not be running XL, I don't think. So this says 10 times 4. So is the acid not contributing to damage anymore? I thought it, the acid splashes would increase incoming damage, but I guess it doesn't. Oof. Yeah, we gotta move. Orders. Maybe we should have... Uh, Popped in down here. Let's get you out of there. That's good. All right, let's move. Let's just like not have you there anymore. Yeah. So you, he did take the AC twenty hit to the front. All right, we're down one. Receiving you. We're down one. He's still alive, but we're down. Get into here. Out. This guy's open, so let's see what the Goss can do on this guy here. Hag, let's drop you down at the bottom. Should I switch this up? I could go cluster on this thing. I don't wait with the hag 30 though, I don't think we need to go cluster. Let's just go standard so it doesn't jam. Well, sorry, it doesn't misfire. It'll misfire under cluster. I think it misfires under cluster and scrap. Let's just go for armor piercing, in which case we're gonna want that up closer to the top. I do intend to work to do the use the Godzilla because I don't think this loadout for this mech is appropriate. But I think a Godzilla would be perfect. Yeah, there we go. Capitalized on it with the Goss. Target eliminated. Excellent. Waiting for orders. All right. Let's get you into range. Only visible by one person because you know they're going to target you. All right. What are we dealing with here? 69% with precision. Yeah, somebody pointed out too. Uh, ah, crap, I can't remember now. Precision. Oh, so this. So the precision ammo works better if the enemy hasn't moved, I believe. Because it, it, it. Or moves slightly because it, it uh, avoids evasion pips, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. You can correct me if I'm wrong. It's, it's accurate, but it also avoids evasion pips, which is why it's like. If somebody moves a, like a, a great distance, it's, a, it's marginally easier to hit them, but not really like super easy. 
And if they haven't moved, it's not necessarily that much better. So precision, we're looking at 69, AP at 50, standard at 56. Yeah, so that's just, that's probably, well, I don't know. That's at least plus two to hit. Got nine shots with precision. I think we'd justify. This guy's got an AC-10, though. Let's just go standard. We'll save it. I got a feeling they're going to have reinforcements, so let's just go with the 50% chance. We'll save it for any reinforcements. And we're out of range with our acid, so no big deal. Target confirmed. Landed one of them. Nice. Got the tag on. Excellent. All right, Boomer. Let's boom them. Affirmative, Commander. Interested to see how warm you're going to get here. I know we're lined up, but i got to get in to shoot here. So nothing. No heat, in, no heat increase. we got two mediums. MRM-10, snub nose, three ER mediums. I should have, you know, you know me. Should have set this up beforehand. I don't think it really matters with this loadout. Although you probably want the MRMs at the end to kind of capitalize on any openings. Don't think it makes that much difference, but... Um, sure. I mean, I, I love this mech loaded out this way. Firing. Okay, not bad. Tags on. They should have somebody else. Yeah, there we go. Slender at the back. Wait, doesn't this guy normally an artillery mech? He's got missiles. Well, he's not going to get too far. That's for sure once these guys are down. Let's walk it in. Position confirmed. Keep our heat low. Wow, this guy's in a lot of trouble. Uh, the acid going to make that much difference then? Let's just go Apollo. Well, the acid's doing eight. Let's strip the armor. Let's just do it this way. Of course, shoot the other side. Why not? All right, that's a good splash. Oof, see ya. That's a kill. I think I'm liking this MRM-60 loadout. Confirmed. I tried to get it into an 80, but there's just it's just too hard to do. Um, they may not get reinforcements, so let's... Uh, we're going to be out of range for bombs here, though. If we're going to use bombs. Let's use them. Let's get into here. Uh, is that going to be within bomb range? That will. It kind of puts us, puts him between the Sunder and, uh, and us, but let's just shut this guy up real quick. Uh, let's just go... half and then we'll go after the other guy with the other half here you go I'm on him. reporting multiple weapons with no ammo that's all right we just shut that guy up he'll probably try to run oh he's not gonna run he's gonna move into the open and then shut down I don't know what the hell he's thinking yes commander you wanted, if you guys wanted to know what panic looks like, there you go. That's panic right there. Didn't know what the hell to do. Ran into the open. Shut down by accident. We'll put him between the uh, the Sunder and me. Yeah, we already jammed on one of these guys. Let's just do the headshot, because why not? Acid's up. Firing. No, I was like it. That hit something good. Come on, bail out. Good to go. All right, SW. Let's get this guy. Mediums, AP Goss. We could take the leg, but why would I not shoot for the head? Oh, Let's do this. Brutal. Target neutralized. I was really hoping for a tougher fight in this one. Maybe they get reinforcements, I doubt it, but... Yeah, thanks for showing up. Reporting minimal damage. 
He gets a P uh, for participation. Alright, let's take a shot at this guy from range. So we did warm up a little bit here. Not that much, though. Yeah, we'll just drop it all here. Yeah, I'm really liking the loadout in this thing. Let's see what you got. There's no real heavy power weapon on there, but you can just stay there. All right. There do I don't think there needs to be. I mean, if we were facing all assaults, you, yeah, maybe, but what we normally face, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, we'll stay with the acid. Actually, we got Apollo for a better chance to hit, right? Yeah, I'm trying to go for the instability. Let's go this route. This is either a hit or miss. I don't think we're going to get reinforcements. I think this will be it. Confirmed. Unfortunately, it did hit. Nice. Okay, not bad. Standing by. So I've been playing a, a, a new game for the past little while. On my way. Uh, it's been a game that I've been watching just to see how it develops on Steam. And it looks like it's pretty good. It's a game called Shadow Empire. It's a uh, turn-based strategy game. It's a lot. I, I don't. I know I've mentioned this game in the past. Let's just drop these on as well. Um, uh, I think that's pretty good. Firing full uh, it was a game called Emperor of the Fading Suns. It's very similar to that. Uh, however, it's just way, way more detailed. What are your orders, Skipper? This is a turn-based strategy game. It's kind of like a like a tabletop board game in a way. You got um, it. But it's extremely detailed. Uh, amazing logistics system. Um, Copy that. Yeah, it's just like all of your decisions. Uh, it's not just your military units Order. that that matter. Like all of your decisions matter. So you've got commanders that all have different personalities and different associations um, that you got to take into account. And each one will either like you or not like you based on the decisions you make. Um, Wow, that was uh, not even worth showing up for. Damn it! All right, Iron Sides. Oh, not you. You stay there. Ten four. Can't afford to lose that thing. All right, let's get into here. Wait, which side? He's more damage on this side. So yeah, it's a pretty good game. I'm probably going to do a couple of episodes just describing the game. Um, for the channel, if you guys are interested, I'm more than willing to do a playthrough. Uh, it'll be a long playthrough because the uh, actual... We don't have any incendiaries, do we? No. I got you. Um, because the actual playthrough takes a while. Well, see ya. Bye bye Well, there it is, folks. Mission successful. Well, it seems I brought a 44 Magnum to a cap gun fight. Uh... All right, that was uh, pretty quick, and I did not think it would be that quick. Uh, I was actually for, I was fully expecting two lances, but whatever. It is what it is. At least we know kind of a little bit of our drawbacks. We got to be hidden on turn one. We got to maneuver to get into position. So we got two Highlander parts now. I think we've got. Do we have Highlander parts? We don't have Highlander parts. Oh, that's interesting. Thought I did. I don't think there's anything else that we want down here, though. Yeah, just, I mean, LRM Sam ammo might be worth it. With the amount of problems you've been having with VTOLs, that's probably standard AC-20 ammo is not worth it. C-3 Master, maybe. Uh, but I'm not, get, I'm not really into the C-3s with this playthrough, so let's just go with this. All right, we got all the mech parts, with whatever's left of them. Got an AC-20. These guys can go. These guys can go. Goodbye. Goodbye. We'll hold on to that ammo. This can go. We'll, well, we got seven tons. Let's just get rid of it. Actually, the AC-20, we got two of them. We'll just get rid of that, too. I wish you could get rid of these, like shift-click and get rid of these. Yeah, see, it was four assault mechs. So, I mean, it was a half-decent lance. It just a crappy lance. Yeah, well, uh, that's nothing. 
That's nothing. We had the what? What got damaged? The avatar, and we know. Well, the aircraft doesn't matter. Savage Wolf took a splash hit, I think. Yeah, with some missiles. That's it. That's all. Let's manage our tasks a little better. Ah, uh, well, not really. Actually, yeah, let's do it this way. Um, let's get the extra day in on the Atlas. That way, these two will be done in two days. This will have two days of work on it. And then you'll drop in. So this will be 14 days, 15 days in one day. We'll go like, actually, uh, mm, yeah, we'll do it that way because I want to get this back sooner so we can uh, get into another playthrough. That way in three days we'll have both of our lances back. Yeah, we'll do it that way. But anyway, as I was saying about Shadow Empire, it's a, it's it's an interesting game. It's not it's not your typical like kind of board game ish. Like f it's not really a four X game. It's not because you're not. I mean, you're expanding, but you're not like going beyond the planet. You're working. You're, you're basically uh, um, like the whole idea that the the the, uh, the game is that there was a big galactic empire at one point. And, and then there was this massive war, and it collapsed. The planet that that you're that you start off on, you know, starts off with X number of people on it, and it collapses. And then all of a sudden, it's just barbarism, and that's the point that you're at now, where it's like the old republic, the old like empire is gone, or old republic is gone, um, and you're basically starting from nothing and trying to rebuild, right? And then you're of course trying to conquer the planet and then you've got major and minor factions on the planet that you have to deal with um, and you can start at different levels where it's like you're kind of equal to the like the major factions or you can start where you're kind of less than equal to the minor factions which is where I've been starting I like the challenge it's extremely difficult um, but then as you're playing it's like as you're conquering uh, the areas around you the realms around you you have to you have to keep in mind that you need logistics to get stuff to your units and there's been I've had some issues with the logistics systems where it's like I had I conquered three realms around me and I was poised to conquer two more that were close together I was going to do it in a like rapid succession so I set up my my logistics system and I built a truck station right by my front lines launch set off my attack and launch my attack and then instantly my entire empire is starving and I'm like how the hell does this work anyway it's it's a uh, it's a very, very interesting game, and it's a very in-depth game. It's more than just a turn-based strategy game. You've got to consider all the all the people that you've got working for you. You got to consider your logistics system. Like you got to manage your resources coming in and going out. You got to manage your um, your road networks um, and making sure you've got enough truck points moving along those road networks to get logistics out to the units that are operating in the field. Uh, then you've got to worry about designing and building units. You could design a light tank, and a light tank is not just a light tank. So, like, everyone doesn't just get the unit light tank when they discover it. You have to develop the light tank. So you develop it, and then it's basically this random process where you get these random design stats. It could, it could The design could be garbage, in which case you've got to go back to the drawing board and redesign it to get something better. And if it's actually a good one, then you can develop off of that good one and make it even better so the actual units like and that work that works for infantry units and stuff and as you discover new weapons you can re-outfit your infantry units um, redesign them if you want with the new equipment um, so there's a lot more in-depthness to it than just I've got five counters and I'm gonna attack your five counters and see who wins and you've got artillery and I've got artillery and they're both the same and I'm using mine differently than yours. That's not the case. In this one, it's like, yeah, you've got artillery and I've got artillery, but my artillery is like three or four tech levels advanced of yours, and I may have less of it, but mine's still better than yours, right? So there's all these factors that come into play. It's actually a very, very interesting game. Now, like I said, I'll probably run a couple of episodes on it just to give you guys an idea of what it's like. If you're interested, I'm happy to do a series on it. If not, I'll drop it and I'll just play it offline on, on my own time. I don't care either way. Uh, but I'm not going to be stopping Battletech at all. I love this game too much to stop playing it. Um, so I don't know. I haven't checked on the forums yet to see if Rogue Tech has the new version coming out. If it hasn't, most likely it'll happen over Christmas. So I'm going to try and wrap this series up before the end of the year. 
We'll see how it goes. Um, if not, it's going to go until at least episode 100 probably, uh, maybe a little bit beyond. Um, it's been very, uh, it's been very, very difficult finding um, quick sell stuff to keep this primarily quick sell. I think next time if I do do something like this, I'm going to have to just kind of stay in the area where, like for instance with the lamb stuff, once I find an area where there's like, you know, lamb gear, which I've been finding is like with my other playthrough, Davian Space seems to be more of a place to find it than anywhere else. Which is, I, I thought was kind of weird. I stayed around, like, where you start, you start near clan space. So I stayed there for a bit, grabbed a bunch of gear, and then started traveling around to see if I could find better places to get lamb gear. And it ended up, the um, the mission, I can't remember what it's called. There's a mission, there's a lamb particular mission that I think opens up other um, standard missions. I can't remember the name of it. I went and did that mission, um, and afterwards I started finding more lamb gear in Dav Davian space. I still have yet to play the actual missions that come afterwards for lamb stuff, but in this case I was able to actually pick up two other lambs in Davian space, which is actually pretty good. Um, right now my lance is all medium lambs, which is great, because I started off with like two mediums and three lights. Now I've got four mediums and, and three lights. So, um, but anyway, so I do intend to do a full land playthrough to see how viable that is. It's, I'm finding it's getting a little repetitive with the way you have to fight things a lot of the times because in order to get good gear, you got to punch above your weight and the only way to do that is backstabbing people. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But like I said too, I, I do want to run a second series alongside that one. If it ends up happening alongside or afterwards, we'll see. But I want to do a series where we build the hardest pipe hitting four mechs that we can possibly get um, and have the rest of our lance as vehicles. So when we get the second um, when we get the second dropship, all we're going to have is the four mechs, the four pipe hitters, and then all the rest will be vehicles. So we'll try to go as far as we can with that where we just the biggest, beefiest mechs we can possibly get as fast as we can get them and then just punch above our weight continuously with the, with the as many vehicles as we can throw into the battle and these four pipe hitters. I also want to get into, with that one, um, using elementals as well. So the uh, the power armor, see as, how we get as much as that going as possible so we can put them as riders on vehicles and then hopefully get into some really like, like Red Skull missions where we're facing like you know, severe, yeah, severe opposition where we can use the elementals against their assault mechs, where we can use, like, hopefully the uh, the flyers, if we can get, like, you know, ifrits and things like that, nidhogs, use those against their assault mechs to tie as many of them up as, as possible, where, our, well, our pipe hitters engage and kill the rest. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. Like, that's my thought, just as, like, like two different styles of play. Um... And like as I was saying before, I think maybe we can run those two series side by side where maybe it's three days of lamb and two days of pipe hitters or three days of pipe hitters and two days of lambs. Whatever you guys want to see the most, I'll just end up playing that the most. Either way, I'll probably end up playing them all like together anyway. If you guys don't like one series, I'll just drop it and play it offline anyway. But uh, I'm going to try and do that. At least that's, those two playthroughs are different than what I've done in the past. And I'm just going to stay specifically targeted to just that rather than adding an additional lance like I did here. I think that was probably a detriment to the series. I think I should probably have left that second lance out. Um, and if I wanted to run a second lance, to run a second series with just those guys. But I like the idea of uh, just staying true to whatever it is that we intend on doing. So like I said, the lamb lance will only be lamb mechs. Um, and if I'm, for whatever reason, we end up with a shit start and I lose a couple of them, then if I do field any kind of mechs, they have to be fully jump jet capable and it's all always jumping all the time. So it kind of stays more with the lamb idea until we can get more lambs into the fight. But I don't really foresee that happening unless it's like some random, you know, occurrence like we take an AC-20 hit or something like that and one of the light lamps goes down right away. Like that's a possibility. Uh, I took a hard hit in my offline playthrough like that once that I almost completely obliterated the, the lamb and I had to, it had to leave the fight right away. 
So it's like turn one, it flies in. Didn't matter how much evasion it had or whatever. There was a Centurion with an AC-20 and took the whole side off. Hit the arm, thank God, because if it hit the torso, it would have killed the lamb, but it took the whole arm off. I think it was down to like five points internal structure on the on the, uh, uh, on the the torso, and it, I just, okay, it just leaves. Like, But it just got one of those things, it just gets a lucky shot off, right? So anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I am back, so... Hoping to get more uh, videos up in the next little while. I'll leave in the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and check out that quick sell site. Until next time, we'll see you later.